Welcome back to realvacantland.com. This is Luke Smith. I've got another property for you. This is in Cochise County, Arizona. We've had numerous properties in Cochise County, Arizona on the website presented. Seems like over 100 of them to you over the last couple of years. And people keep buying them, taking off with them. And I'm getting good feedback. People love the properties because the regulations are so easy to go build on these properties and make them happen. So people are always asking me, where can I do this? Where can I do that? The first county that always comes to mind when people are asking where they can do whatever it is they're looking to do is Cochise County, Arizona, because it's just so easy. The fees are low, the prices are low, and the regulations are easy. They let you go do what you want to do and leave it up to you instead of making rules to tell you what to do, right? So it's a lot more of that style. So let's jump into Cochise County, or let's jump into the website, realvacantland.com. So we're on realvacantland.com. And here's the property, $1,299, it's for four acres, and um, it's got all kinds of numbers and diagrams and stuff about the property. These diagrams are about the original 40 acres of the property. This is actually a piece of the 40 acres, it's four acres out of the original 40 acres, so it's uh, yeah, just a smaller piece of it. But four acres is what you need to get by on the regulations to let you do what you want to do. You can go build and say your owner builder, you sign the paperwork, say I'm responsible for what I'm doing and I'm responsible for the decisions I make. And then they say, okay, we believe you, and um, you don't have to have inspections, so we don't have to like have builder or uh, the county come inspect what you're doing. And so a lot of people think that's very nice and uh, like to buy properties here because of that. So, and of course that might change. I might be saying that in the video, by the time you buy it and go do your thing, they might change the rules, but that's the way it is now. So this property is off the road. There's roads here. Uh, I put easement in here so you can go up and down through here to get to the property. And um, yeah, there's uh, I think there's an easement here on the top too. Um, so it looks like a neighbor over here built a cabin or a small home or something um, in this area. The same kind of plane as that would be over here. So it looks like they're building, they're figuring it out, making it happen. You could too. Um, if we zoom out a little bit, there's a mountain down here to the south of this property that looks like it'd be fun to look at. If we do Google um, uh, Maps on uh, Google Chrome, like the Chrome browser, we can go 3D on this thing. So I just went and I clicked on the Google logo in the bottom left-hand corner of that map we were looking at. And you can get to that map on realvacantland.com. There's a link below in the description of this video that will take you straight back to the website where you can buy it, you can tour the property, you can get directions to go tour the property, look at pictures, read about it, all that kind of stuff, right? So in there, this interactive map, I clicked on the, the Google lo logo and it brings this map up. So I can do control, I can hold down the control, and I can go 3D on this thing. I don't have it going 3D on the website because I don't want to pay for it. So, but if you just click their logo and go over to Google's website, you can do that. I already pay, pay them enough for the maps we got there. <laughs> and so, um, to the south of it, we've got these, these mountains. I think good looking mountains give you some character in the land. And if we uh, hold control, look out to the west, there's some mountains way off there. If we look north, there's some mountains that are closer up. Not as close as the south, but I mean, and then east, there's some mountains there. So there's mountains in all directions. The ones off to the west are going to be ways off, maybe like sunset kind of timeline, you'll see them. Um, but other than that, these ones just to the south look like some nice, they got a lot, a lot of character to them. They liven up the area make it not just flat pancake, you know, vista in every direction, something to look at, right? Okay, so there's the area, there's the property. If we, if we have the lot lines on here, the interactive map again, back on ruralvacantland.com, we can see these roads. These roads are coming in from a couple different directions. I've had numerous people drive out to this area um, for different properties. They just drive right up to it. Um, I don't think anyone's had any problems with, like gates or anything that I know of to get there so it should be easy to get there um, and then down to the south we've got Douglas if you can see that on the map Douglas is the closest town that's got major supplies I think McNeil has like a elementary school and a post office and stuff like that but I don't think they have I don't think they have like a grocery store they might have a little convenience store or something liquor store or whatever but they don't have um and it's not where you're going to go buy your groceries for the week or the month or whatever you do. And if you go down to Douglas, you can get the bigger grocery supplies. If you go to Bisbee, you can get like your lumber and your 
cement blocks and your concrete and your plumbing supplies and all that kind of stuff. I think Douglas might have a basic uh, hardware store too. But I mean, for like full-on supplies, you go over to Bisbee and you can get, you know, everything to build your house and just truck it back. Um, the mountains to the north are Leslie Canyon National Wildlife Refuge. So there's roads that go up into there too. Some beautiful pictures of some water features that are up in those mountains. I've never been up into those mountains, but it looks like it'd be fun to go tour for a day picnic kind of place. Um, so that's where the property is. Over here we've got Benson and then Tucson. Tucson's not that far away, so you could drive to Tucson and back in a day and go get, um, oh, if you had to get some specialty tool or something or whatever kinds of supplies or go to the airport, um, it's probably, gonna, you know, it's not super far away to go to Tucson. A little bit further, you can go to Phoenix. Um, so there we go. That's That's the property. I don't know what else to show you about it. Let me get out of here. Uh, but yeah, you just check out online. I got the buy it now button on there. Put your title information, your tax information, your contact information, click, click, click. Go takes you for payment information. You click that. I'll fill out all the paperwork to get it into your name. Get it recorded. Pay the fees. There's no fees on that. Make it, make it yours. Send you the paperwork, the deed showing it's yours. And, uh, you know, just go for it. You can, as soon as you check out same day, you can start using the property. Okay, so there it is. Thanks. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Bought this four acres in Cochise County, Arizona for $1,299. Go down below to get to the links to be able to go buy it, tour it, check it out. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll keep presenting more properties. Cheapest, easiest ones across the country in lots of different areas. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.